and good morning, Pokey people. Lovely to see you. It is Friday morning here in Japan as I'm recording, but this will probably go up late Friday night in Japan. We'll see how this goes because I was just woken up by the arrival of Miracle Twin from Amazon. Wow! I'm very sleepy. <laughs> But I want to try and film this and get it processing before I go to work and we're just gonna see how it goes. So let's grab the box because I have limited battery power and we don't want to dilly dally. <gasps> Look at this beautiful, beautiful box of Miracle Twin. I will hopefully not forget the name ever again. Oh my goodness, that Mitsuhiro Arita art is just amazing. This one I actually went ahead and bought the sleeves for as well, but we will look at those another day because we have limited time. Yep, I'm a ridiculous person. I was not expecting to get the box early enough that I'd be able to film before going to work, so I did not charge my camera batteries. And who knows if we'll make it all the way through this box before they die. If they do die though, thankfully I have my other camera, the Nikon One, um, so if the, if the quality suddenly changes, you know what happened. Because <laughs> I am determined we're going to do this whole box before I go to work. Oh my goodness. Let's crack her open. <gasps> Look at that. It's just beautiful. Oh so pretty so before we start opening things let's have a look here there are 94 plus cards in the set we got of course our hyper rares super rares we've got four trader rares six gx's those are the double rares and then 10 hollows and 32 42 of the other things wow so actually today instead of doing my shuffle and chop as we go i'm gonna pause and chop <gasps> there goes the battery symbol and we are back, but with the other camera. <laughs> I'm really sorry if the uh, jump in quality is too much. I should have charged the batteries in the Canon power shot, but I forgot. So we're using the good old, you can't see it, but the very cute and adorable pink Nikon J1 that I have. It's a, no, Nikon 1 J2, sorry. <laughs> I just like lean over and look at it. So um, if the quality is terrible, I am very sorry. Hopefully, though, it's not too bad since we're also filming in 1080p and I have the macro lens on this camera. So let's just jump right in here. We've chopped all the bottoms off off screen to try and save some time. And let's see how we go. Oh, no. So there's going to be Pokemon I don't know the names of, as usual, since this is a uh, first day for me of this set. But I know you. You are a Vigoroth. Oh, man, I'm so excited for Slackoth Community Day. Mostly just for adorable, cute little pink Slackoth butts. Um, don't know your name, but you are a Purotoga in Japanese. Oh, no. Ah, uh, little uh, scraggy and something. These... Mr. Flesh Pants Falling Down. I always forget what his name is. And this, a uh, giant bomb. Is it a giant bomb? Maybe? Not quite? Not sure. Let's just keep going, though. Because um, even though we have a fully charged battery now, what we do not have is a heck of a lot of time before I have to leave for work. So, <gasps> Heracross! Let's try to do this. It is oh, so cute! So, of course, you guys know that I am a knitter. I do dabble and crochet from time to time. And I very much appreciate these adorable Amigurumi card arts. I keep wanting to tap the camera and it's like, wait, this camera's older. <laughs> it doesn't have a touch screen. So, if it doesn't autofocus, we're in trouble. Because I don't know how I'm going to make it focus. Um, we got a Dragonair. Oh, you! Alright, there's Purloin and Lipard, right? I'm pretty sure this is Purloin. He's a Choroneko in Japanese. He's so cute. He's so sneaky. Oh, and we got our first tag team. It is absolutely amazing. I think it's really fun that they made it Mega Sableye and not just regular old Sableye. Although I really love regular old Sableye, I have to say. That is amazing. Of course, my first instinct is I want to go like this because I'm thinking about the other camera. <laughs> But we don't need to move the cloud closer because we got a macro lens on, so everything's closer. I hope I'm not too much closer to the camera with the little puffs of air every time I try to breathe or react to things. Oh, if I'm really obnoxiously loud, I apologize. All right, let's keep on going here. Keep chugging along. We're slowly waking up. I'll have some coffee or something after this. Um, Obemu. Obemu. I don't remember your English name. Oh, no. Electric, maybe? No. Electric? It'll come back to me later. <gasps> Look at that adorable Dedden 
Hey! Oh my goodness! What a cutie pie! <gasps> and that is, of course, it's Surita Saya's artwork. Just amazing. Oh no! Aken! I can't remember your English name either, but you are amazing. There's gonna be a lot of that today, isn't there? <gasps> yummy yummy! Save a lie! So happy! If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that for a while there was a glitch in Pokemon Go where if you took Air Plus photos of Sableye, it didn't have a mouth. It was very upsetting to me. <laughs> he has a mouth now, though. They fixed it, finally. Uh, we got Nekoara, uh, Komala, right? Oh, no. I think this one's Electric. And is that? Yeah, it's a Star You. Star Me? Yeah, Star You in the background. Um... My brain's going Archaeotops or something. Something with the tops in it. We got a cute little Dewpiter here and... Drapion! <laughs> this is one of those ones where I was so proud of myself for a moment there and then realized it's Dorapion in Japanese. So I don't think I actually remembered it. I think I just unconsciously read the katakana there. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should be one of those psychics who does cold readings. Because clearly... Hey! Look who dare! It's a lovely lady in the background. Misty's just chilling out. Um, Yanma, whose Japanese is Yan Yanma. Interesting. Um, some piranha dude. Basurao in Japanese. We got some tamatamas and okay, we're safe. I saw the edge of something on top. Um, safe but not safe because I don't remember your name. We're just going to put you back here. We're going to put all the hollows in the back. Actually, we'll put the hollows in front of the special place. There we go. And then when we do a recap, it'll be easier for me to get organized. I hope. We'll see. Uh, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. You! Breloom, right? I think. I hope. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to blame everything on being sleepy. Be good in Japanese. Oh! <gasps> It's a Sekiodratini! It's so cute and watercolor looking! Look at the little water ball! And oh, it's adorable! I love it! Oh, we got Yan Mega. <laughs> Mega Yanma Japanese. Please make a mega form of Mega Yan Mega because in English it would be Mega Yan Mega, in Japanese it would be Mega Mega Yanma. <laughs> it just pleases me so. <gasps> Look at that Glissopod! Holy heck! That is beautiful. I think every Glissopod we've had before is being bug type, like grass bug type. So to get a water type, that is a beautiful hollow. Thank you, Pokemon Company. Okay, I'm now starting to get slightly paranoid that because I woke up and immediately went into this, that you can hear my tummy growling. Sorry if you can. And if you can't, just ignore that comment. <laughs> I have a very noisy tummy. Um, Rugyura, Rujuda. Juda, do Juda in Japanese. I'm in a minute. Jinxed her English name. Got some Tamatamas. Yan Yanma. Zurugu. Okay. And you. Why are there so many with names? Oh no. Electros? Electrite? Electros? Ah, oh, it'll come back to me later. But it's a very nice hollow. It looks nice. It looks good. It's pretty. I just. I just really want to get to Mew and Mewtwo. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's also some amazing full art potential in this set. This may be one where I need to buy um, more than two boxes. I haven't bought a second box yet, but like pre-ordered anything. But you know I'm going to. Well, hey, okay, it's a shield. It's a sword and shield, which is funny now that I'm thinking about the fact that our new games are going to be Pokemon Sword and Shield. But hey, hey now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at that adorable slug <laughs> Oh, that is so cute. What a fantastic illustration. Little Piranha Boys. We got another Sekio Dratini. And we got a Dragonite GX. I'm getting paranoid. Whenever I slide them up, I need to like look at the bottom and see what the thing says. Because <laughs> the um especially the tag team GXs, it's not immediately obvious if you've pulled the secret rare or not, unless you look for the little SR down there. Very nice. I feel bad because the regular GXs in these sets are still amazing, but they just don't compare to the tag team. So it's like, oh, hey, a GX. <laughs> like, I want to be more excited, but eh, I want the tag teams. Uh, Madoru Mino Mori. Well, it is a forest, but I don't know what kind of forest. Um, we got a stone. Oh, we got another Sekio card, and it's Luminion. 
just beautiful. I love Sekio's artwork. Thank you, Sekio, for doing what you do. Vigoroth and Neuba Neuvern. There we go. That's its name. Very cool artwork on that one, too. I really like that. You know, of course, Braish Gaming is going to be very happy to see that. I don't think he's seen his buddy Neubat in quite some time. I feel like it's been a decade or so. I mean, it's not as amazing as a Venomoth or an Electrode, but still, pretty awesome. We have a Relicanth. Hooray! And thank you very much to Missy Gal 5 in Pokemon Go. Um, we found each other. Very cute little bug here. We found each other through um, Twitter. And when she was visiting from New Zealand, she traded me a Relicanth. So I finally got to fill in that hole in my Pokedex. Um, that was almost a month ago, I want to say. But thank you very much. I don't know if she watches my videos. Probably not. But if you do, thank you, thank you very much. That was super duper awesome. And I'm very happy to have that hole filled. Next is going to be getting Carnivine. And obviously the Lake Spirits. But since people can't put the Lake Spirits in gyms... <gasps> we have a Shibuzo card! Very, very cute. Uh, Whimsicott, right? Cottony Whimsicott? Or Whimsicott Cottony? I'm going to get them backwards. But yeah, since you can't put the Lake Spirits in gyms, it doesn't create that hole in the decks where it says seen but not caught. Whereas I have seen a Carnivine in a gym. So I do have the seen hole. The seen hole! Um, pretty sure Skiploom Breloom? No, Shroomish Breloom. There we go. Okay. Oh no, you're back. Okay, I'm going to have to spend some time afterwards memorizing names. Oh, look at that very, very cute Colmia Wimpod, though. He's so scared of the ocean, just like me. The ocean scares me. Ah, uh, yeah, you're going over here. A bell tall. Very, very nice art from Sui there. Look at that. Are we in focus, camera? Can you just, just, you know, this one I think actually autofocuses better than the other one. Which is ridiculous, because the Canon, Canon, why am I saying that weird? The Canon camera, uh, I got that because it was recommended online, is like, this is the camera all the vloggers use. We have a giant mole man. You're going over here. Um, so I thought, like, yeah, that'll be great if I start to try and do... <gasps> Look at that super cute Noibat! Oh my goodness, he's adorable! Yeah. Oh, and you, Tracheon. Okay, cool. What was I saying? Yes, I got the canon thinking, like, if I ever do Pokemon Go videos, or if I try to do more of my sightseeing Pokemon videos, it should be really good, because it's a vlogging camera. It's what all the vloggers use. Um, but it's turned out to be really counterintuitive and not easy to use, and... I don't know. I feel like the quality is good. It's just, as far as being user-friendly, you again. I'm not the happiest with it. I'm happiest with my mirrorless Nikon 1. And this is a J2, so it's an older model. I could probably upgrade and get a new Nikon 1 body and use the same lenses on it and have even better quality. Cause it, oh, we got two Slackoths in this set and they're both adorable. Oh, so cute. Yeah, I feel like I could upgrade the camera body for this one, a Requinid, and still have some absolutely fantastic videos, but clearly I need to upgrade a computer before I go upgrading and buying another camera. Um, and I think, you know, I could probably get something out of the Canon one. I just need to work with it more. Um, maybe I'll take it with me when I'm going to work and play around with it. Oh, goodness, there's so many, I can't remember your names. <laughs> Tamagetake, um, Nidangiri, Miryu. Haha <laughs> Komori! And that was the last card in that pack. I think we're about halfway through the box here. Let's see how we do. We have a secret rare coming up sooner or later, and we haven't gotten any trainer rares yet. So that's exciting. Oh, <gasps> green! So of course, that's one of the full art trainers we could pull. We could get a green. Um, I would say we could go hunting for a handsome husband, but um, no, he's too young. He can't be a husband <gasps> Uh-oh. Alright, we're going to put this down. That's got our secret rare card behind it. And let's keep going, because we want to keep the suspense to the very end of the box if we can. <gasps> Kasumi Misty! Now, we could do a looking for lovely ladies for her. I have a feeling, because it's Misty, she might be a more expensive single to try and buy. So, you know, don't, don't... <laughs> I was going to try and make a clever joke about don't try and buy singles, because, you know, paying... For a date is something else entirely, but yeah, no, that's a little dark. It's a little dark for this time in the morning. We got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Abagora. Uh, Tamagetake. <laughs> I'm just gonna do Japanese when I can't English. I'm so sleepy. Nidangiri. Noibat, he's just so cute. Look at his little golden 
guys. <gasps> and there it is. That's the card we've been waiting for. Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX. Absolutely amazing card art. Mitsuhiro Arita is a legend. I still can't believe these amazing cards he's been giving us. Just turning them out one after another. <gasps> I don't know what we're going to do when the tag team era ends. I'm guessing that we'll continue with tag team right up until the first base set of Sword and Shield. I didn't get the cards all the way out of that pack. And I don't know which one is a special, so we're just going to put that in the front and hope for the best. Nope, there's an uncommon there. Lipard. Dragonair! You! <gasps> it's a why not? And he's a knitter with his little balls of yarn and his little maybe possibly an unknown, depending if you believe the conspiracy theory's tale. Oh, we did get it right, because we got slacking as the rare in the back. Very, very cool. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I'm... Oh, blah. Blah, 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 blah. How do you guys deal with mornings? I don't deal with mornings very well, obviously. <laughs> I usually oversleep, despite my best efforts to try and get a good start on the day. Oh, that is very cute! I'm gonna have to learn your names. Kurumiru in Japanese. Um, Perloin. And you! Archaos. Alright, well, it's Japanese name is Archaos, so maybe I wasn't too crazily off of what I thought it was. Yeah, how do you guys deal with the morning? I generally hit the snooze alarm for anywhere from an hour to two hours sometimes, just like ba 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 snooze. That was obnoxious. Uh, <laughs> I don't like waking up, I just want to stay in bed. Onyx! Hey! I feel like it's been a long time since we've seen an Onyx. And whatever that is. Stadium Navi. Stadium Navigator, I guess? Why would you need to navigate a stadium? How big is the stadium? Oh, no, I can feel my feet falling asleep, I don't want to move. Oh... Hey, you know what? Another point for the Nikon. Um, we are at 15 minutes of filming here, and the battery hasn't died, the camera hasn't turned off. <gasps> Very cute Finion. It's not telling me anything crazy. Ooh, Necrozma Hollow. Very nice. So, I don't know. Maybe this camera is better designed for filming. Whatever. You guys let me know. If there's an obvious change in the quality. Hey, you! The other pants fallen down man. And a sword. Um, if the quality is really obviously changed for the worse, then clearly I should use one camera and not the other. But if it's not that noticeable, I mean, this one does quite well for filming. You gotta say, it's, I'm, uh, I feel like it's just falling back into an old habit. Oh, <gasps> another Shibuzo card and look at him, he's so grumpy. <gasps> I love it, so disapproving. And another sword. <gasps> <laughs> young Goose. I feel like we haven't seen Young Goose in so long. And you! We're just going to put you down because I can't remember your name. And we're just going to pull these last four packs out here. Oh my goodness, my foot's gone. Well, I'm never standing up again. I'm just going to have to call in sick to work. Not going to be able to stand up. My foot's asleep. My brain's asleep. I'm hungry. Um, This is a Deca Goose gum shoes. There we go. I was like, wait, what's his English name? I know it's Scotopy, Dewfighter, right? Yes. Uh, Young Goose. Hey! And we got a trainer rare of the Sightseer. Very nice. I don't think we've got a full art of her yet. I know we've all been hoping for it because it would be beautiful. But maybe someday. I think the two full art trainers that were spoiled for me, but I'm okay with it, that are in this set are amazing, so we're not going to complain. Hello, cute little Shibuzo worm friend. Uh, Onyx. I was looking at the Japanese name. Just whoop. Protoga. And Steelix. All right, two packs left. Holy heck, I'm hungry. My stomach is eating itself. My foot is asleep. For some reason, my nose is runny this morning. I don't know what's happening. Ooh, hey. I don't I don't know if we're getting a full art of this one either. That would also be an interesting full art trainer. But in comparison to the other two that I'm really hoping for, I mean, it's not that crazy exciting. All right, last pack here. Let's see if we get a little last pack magic. So there are six GXs in the set. We've pulled three. So it'd be nice to get one more GX, right? Um, you, Pokeball Mushroom Man. Um, the Sea Turtle. Thumbatama, some eggs. Hey, uh... Orangaroo, there we go, and our last card is a Dragon Knight. I almost forgot its name, Hollow. <laughs> Very nice. All right, let's do a little adjusting here because my foot is dead. Oh my gosh. 
oh, 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 do not sit Seiza for so long. Bad idea. And now we're going to do the amazing reveal. Tynamo. That's his name, right? Tynamo Electros something? Maybe? I don't know. You'll let me know later. But our secret rare card for this box is... Well, um... <laughs> It's gold card. Precious ball. It's a precious ball. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we will have a, a little close-up look here at it. I mean, it's a gold card. Can't be that upset. Gold cards are pretty amazing. But, as you know, they're not my thing. I like full arts better. Um, very cool, though. I do like the colors. The texture's nice. Everything. Very nice. We're to put in sleeve. Oh, no. The feeling's trying to come back to my feet, and it's bad. It's so bad. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna pause before we recap. Recap time! So, of course, <laughs> I completely blanked out and forgot this is a 94-card set, so of course we're not gonna get everything in one box, and that just means we get to buy another box, and maybe another box. I kind of want to get two more, maybe three more, Definitely we need to get some loose packs. Um, so anyways, we got a Slacking, Dragonite, Tracheon. We got you. I always get them wrong. I know one of them at least is Age Slash. There's a Hone Edge and an Age Slash, but there's three stages and I can never get them right. We doubled up on that one. That was our first Hollow Double, I think. You, who might be an Electros, but I really can't remember. Uh, we also doubled up on this fellow over here. We got a trainer rare of the Sightseer, and my three favorite of the Hollows so far, we've got Eveltal, which looks very, very nice. That sweet artwork. Very, very cool. Necrozma. I feel like we've been seeing Ultra Necrozma a lot, so seeing just regular old Necrozma is kind of nice. And the very, very cool Galissapod. Absolutely love that card. Look at it. It's amazing. We got three GXs. We got the Dragonite GX, Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX, which is Fantastic! We got Mega Yamirami, Mega Sableye, and Tyranitar GX, which is so cool. I would love to see the alternate art for this one. And our secret rare was a gold card, which seems to be an ongoing thing with me lately, because of course, what I really, really want are full art trainers and Pokemon, and I keep getting gold cards. But then my English pack luck lately, and loose pack luck, has been pretty good, so I don't know. Maybe I just need to stop buying boxes and just buy loose packs. Except you know that'll never happen! Well, thank you very, very much for watching. Sorry for the camera change mid-filming, and hopefully the quality wasn't too big of a jump. I did set this to its highest quality setting for recording, so hopefully it's okay. Let me know if it isn't. Let me know what you thought of this set, what you're looking forward to, what you're not looking forward to. I mean, if you're like me and you're like, eh, gold cards, then, you know, we can go sit in a corner and mope about it together. But really, we should be happy because it's a rare card. Um, I'm rambling. I'm sleepy and hungry. The feeling has returned to my feet, though. And I need to get this edited and processing so you guys can see it as soon as heckin' possible. So thank you very much for watching. Have a super-duper wonderful day, Poke people. Love and appreciate all of you very, very much. And I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye bye